Hello and welcome to the news at when. When? The Roman era. A time when Rome was the most powerful city in the world. And who ruled Rome became a question of life or death. Literally. Here to explain more is Bob Hale with the Roman Report. Bob. Thank you, Sam. Well, you may have heard that Rome wasn't built in a day, and it wasn't. In fact, it took them a whole year, the year 753 BC to be precise, and there it is, slap bang in the middle of Italy, Rome is founded, and it starts as a kingdom, which means it needs a king. And there he is. In fact, there were several, right up until 510 BC, when we get one called Tarquin. No, don't laugh, and he's a terrible bully. So bad, in fact, that the Romans just get rid of him. Not just him, but kings altogether. Crikey. And Rome becomes... A republic! Oh, excuse me, which means it's now ruled by the Senate. 300 elected senators, which makes it a democracy. A bit like our parliament, but with a lot less shouting. And the busy senators have a massive empire to run, so they appoint people to do stuff for them. Lawmakers, and governors, and, and praetors, and feasters, and aedlies, and all sorts of other people with silly sounding jobs, until Julius Caesar turns up and says, whoa! There's too many of you and your job sounds silly. Why not just have one person in charge of everything? Someone like, oh, I don't know, me! Yes, Julius Caesar becomes dictator. He keeps the Senate, but basically he's in charge. A bit like a headmaster, but with a lot less shouting. Then Caesar gets murdered, yeah! And a fellow called Augustus takes over, and he decides the Senate is still too powerful. So he makes himself emperor, and says the Senate can only give him advice. And being emperor is a great job. There's banquets, and, and power, and helicopters, and money, except not helicopters. And it's so great that everyone wants to be one. People start queuing up to be next. And if they get bored of queuing, then they just kill the current emperor and take over, like this. Brilliant! until someone kills them, and then someone kills them, and then, well, you get the picture, there's a lot of dead emperors. In fact, if we look at the emperometer, we can see that in 193 AD, there were five different emperors in just one year. Ooh, with a whopping six in the year 238 AD, and between 238 and 285 AD, there were no less than 25 different Roman emperors. 25? And their names were Gordian, and Gordian, and Maximus, and Baldinus, and Gordian, and Decimus, and Sapatacatanius, and Iatopopanius, and sick it like a magnus and nuela to la gay tela de la macarena, que tela he pala ligaria to blina, e to la be tagaria macarena, e macarena, hey, back to you, Sam, e to la me cigaria rapparena, hey, e mocatia la mira, horrible history.